guys, it's Matt. So I'm going to talk to you about something I think is like super duper important. So here I go. Um, I recently, I was on Facebook today and my friend posted this link about this story and I just got to reading it. And it was about a riot type situation that happened at the Rainbow Lounge in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, it happened last Saturday, which is coincidentally the 40th anniversary of the Stonewall Riot. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the Stonewall Riot is, it's a huge landmark in the gay history, in gay history. Um, the Stonewall Riot, it was a, the Stonewall was a club in New York, um, and, um, all these police just went in and started beating all these gays that were in the club. I mean, they were just, you know, dancing, you know, typical, typical, like, stuff that happens in a club, and it, that was when the gays finally just fought back, and it's a huge landmark, I mean, that's when the gays were like, you know, we're not going to take this anymore. So, at the Rainbow Lounge, um, I'm, I'm really tired, so I read the story, it, was, it wasn't it was long, but, it, you know, it had a lot of words, obviously, so I guess that means it's long. Um, I'm, so I'm tired, so I couldn't comprehend, like, every little detail of it, but, um, from what I know, these cops went in and just, you know, started harassing, you know, the patrons in there. And a 26-year-old male named Chad, uh, Chad Gibb something, I can't recall his last name, had his head bashed into the wall. And there's photographic evidence of this, and there's a lot, a lot of witnesses. And, you know, he's in intensive care now because of it, and he has a blood clot, and he could die because of the cops' actions. You know, they just waltzed in and they could take a life now because of it and it angers me because just because we're gay we're treated worse than everyone else and it's something needs to be done about it and uh, these cops claim that they were groped and touched in, you know inappropriately and the owner had a really good quote it was we're gay but we're not dumb you know do you really think we're dumb enough to grope cops who we already you know know don't like us I mean not all cops but you know it's one of those things you know cops don't really like gays as much you know especially probably in like Texas and stuff I you know in the southern areas and the cops come they were grouped and stuff and apparently there's something called the gay panic defense or something, which, I don't know, but the guy bashed Chad's head into the wall. So, apparently if that's legitimate, if you're ever out in public near me and you touch my ass, me, I'm, beware, I'm going to bash your head into a wall. If it's, you know, since, you know, cops can do that, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to bash people's head into the wall if they touch me inappropriately. Um, if these cops really were groped, you know, does that give them to ri the right to bash someone's head into the wall? and possibly kill him, take a life, and furthermore, do they have the right to just go into a gay bar and harass the patrons? No, and it makes me very angry, and this is outrageous. A human being is a human being, no matter what color they are, race, you know, gender, ethnicity, whatever, a human is a human. You know, it, it go on Google and type in all these people who have died because of homophobes. It's disgusting and something needs to be done about this and this is why I'm talking and this is really important so I want you guys to listen. I'm going to post a story on you know that side over there and I want you to read it. It's really not long. I'm just really tired. So I want you to read it and you know really think about it. And then there's you know um, there's emails for some of the counselors and then one for the mayor and I want you to email them I did and, and you know a lot of other people are too and email them and tell them you know this is outrageous and tell them what you think and how you feel because this is where we all need to band together and stand up and create a movement because the Stonewall obviously wasn't enough so we need to make a movement and you know I posted this as my Facebook status, my MySpace status, MySpace bulletins, I'm making a video about it this needs to go across America and the world and people need to see what's going on and we need to create awareness as to how we're treated and this needs to go for everyone not just gays because we're all human beings and we're all equal and that's what I don't understand is that how do people look at others and go, oh, he's black, or, oh, they're a transgender, or uh, whatever, they're Asian, whatever, you know. Everyone has a value, has value to them, and everyone is a human. So I want everyone to send emails, post this as their statuses, post other videos, responses. I want this to be known, and I really 
think, you know, we all need to band together and stand up for what's right. Whether or not we believe in this, this is what's right, and we need to do something about it. And, you know, I really wanted to share this with you guys. So go read the story and go spread the word about this and do something. So thank you guys, and I hope you like my video. And I know I'm going to get lots of comments on this, like you're a fag. And, yeah, I know. I'm a fag. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.